if she really does mean what she said, um, it's kind of a slap in the face to service members. New tonight, the head of Tennessee's Department of Children's Services under fire again. A state investigation brought to light comments made by Margie Quinn about veterans. Fox 17 News, Kylie Walker joining us live from the state capitol with the controversy and what veterans want to see. Kylie. According to the investigation, there were comments made about gender roles in parenting, but also on veterans who got benefits. Now, keep in mind, we are not sure the context of any of these conversations or why they were even had in the first place in a team meeting last year. Also, keep in mind, those I interviewed, these are opinions of their own. It's not reflective of their employer, the National Guard Bureau or the Tennessee National Guard. I don't quip with veterans getting what they get. I served for 26 years and I don't get squat. Those are just some of the words that DCS Commissioner Margie Quinn admitted to in a state investigation. She was referring to her time in law enforcement. All of this after several witnesses came forward accusing Quinn of discriminatory comments made on multiple occasions. For someone to be appointed to such an important position over the state and run something of that magnitude, it, words do matter. Mickey Shelton, a captain in the Tennessee Army National Guard, calling the whole situation disheartening. The document said in part she did admit to making comments about how veterans serve a few years and then get lifetime benefits, but police serve 20 years and do not. It's not really about a, a, a time issue or how long you serve. It's the fact that they signed the dotted line, they wanted to protect the Constitution, and they went to go do that for their country. They may just serve four years, but they may get all their limbs blown off. And Donnie Eli, who served our country for the last 19 and a half years, says that Quinn chose her own career path and shouldn't take it out on veterans. Whenever she has to bring veterans in to try to pit it against the police, we're all on the same side. We live in this country, we love this country, and we serve it in different ways. So just have that appreciation and respect for each other's uh, paths. DCS issuing a comment on Quinn's behalf today saying she regrets the comments, takes responsibility for them, and promises to do better. Melvin Shepard, who's been deployed several times, including Iraq and Afghanistan, hopes to see change come from this. Your actions from this point forward dictate your character and what you really stand for. Today we reached out to Governor Lee's office, who received the investigation two months ago. We asked what course of action he will be taking, but we didn't hear back. Now, earlier today, I also spoke with Senator Richard Briggs, who served our country for 38 long years. Now, he tells me that he does have a meeting set up with a Commissioner Quinn for next week. He says he wants to hear her side of the story, but he's also going to distribute this investigation to the Veteran Caucus next week as well. Now, he did get very emotional in our interview. We have that on Fox 17 News tonight at 10. For now, live in Nashville, Kylie Walker, Fox 17 News, Chicago Red Station.